Why, hello! <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Tuesdays with Darkness as me and Shadow over here go over all of this week's meta predictions for PvP. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what the heck I'm doing right now. But anyways, today we are going to be looking at all three Keyblades that are going to be used for this week. Make some predictions as to what's going to be good, what's not going to be good, etc. And as well as may possibly answer some of your questions, such as yes. I am going to be holding this microphone this entire video. Get used to it. Okay, so basically what we're going to do for today's episode, and this will be a regular series on the channel that we will be having every single Tuesday. Maybe provoke a bit of a discussion as to what's going on in PvP and stuff each week, but I don't know. I figured it would be a nice idea. Uh, but anyways, this is how we're going to go about doing this video. In case you haven't noticed yet, on my website at khuxnation.com, in the top right hand corner of the screen, there's actually a button called the meta, okay? And if you click on it, it actually takes you down to a to a couple of spreadsheets that I've created uh, and that I've been maintaining for quite a while now basically listing all of the best Keyblade setups for both Universal and pretty much single target setups for each Keyblade. And it's also categorized by best to worst. So we also basically have a tier list as well, according to Keyblades. And for today's video, we're gonna be looking at just the single target Keyblades, because I mean, that's what PVP uh, ends up being for. Uh, in case you wanna go ahead and check out the list yourself, by all means, feel free to visit my website. I try and maintain and update it as often as possible. But without further ado, let's go ahead with the meta prediction. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the three Keyblades and what their best setups are for each of them in terms of a uh, single target or niche setup, right? Okay, so we know that for this week we're using Counterpoint, Three Wishes, and Diamond Dust, okay? Okay, so right here on the screen we are starting off with the Counterpoint, which comes in first place amongst the three Keyblades. Uh, and right now on the screen I do have the strongest setup already dis uh, created and displayed in terms of what would be the strongest for Counterpoint. Uh, right now and according to the website on khuxtracker.com the actual total Damage for this setup will be a total of 130 million roughly. Okay now granted This is just for a purely single target setup like in general for the game This is not meant specifically for PvP Okay, and that that's going to be the case for all three of these setups I'm about to show you for each of the keyblades once I've actually shown all three keyblades and such is when I'll actually go more in depth about PvP specifics and such in second place we have diamond dust with this setup that we have right here on the screen Diamond Dust is going to be slightly uh, lacking simply because of the fact that there's no hard hitting magic reverse uh, metal within a game that's like along the same caliber of like Scar or Bob and Jack Jack and stuff like that. So Diamond Dust does, does take a hit because of that. Luckily, if you bought VIP for it, uh, there is Illustrated Invisible, which you can put in the pet slot of your setup, but that's only, only at the very end. If we go ahead and take a look back at Counterpoint, we can see that there's actually quite a lot of hard hitters already with Magic Upright, uh, such as King Triton, and Bob and Jack Jack. Now coming in at third place is going to be Three Wishes. This is only to be expected because the Three Wishes multiplier suck compared to the other two, but it's still not that bad. All right, so now that I've gone ahead and shown all three of the Keyblades and their best setups, I'll go ahead and make some uh, PvP meta predictions for this week. Now, first of all, of course, the higher up they're gonna go in the rankings for this week, the more likely it is they're gonna see some of the more OP setups that match uh, what I've shown you uh, in terms of setups. Such as, for example, with the counterpoint, there was pretty much like 
almost literally the entire thing is filled to the brim with every single freaking hard hitter within the game. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like you can see right here, and you, and you know, you guys know there's gonna be those like those people within the game within the high tiers that are gonna have setups like this because they're gonna have that eight star Sora and Simba, that eight star ba Bob and Jack Jack, even though we just got it in high score challenge. That eight star King Triton with the eight star copy metal. <coughs> A seven star, I mean. I don't know why I'm saying eight star. So, because of this, you can pretty much start seeing people to be using the counterpoint as most likely the first setup that people are gonna be using, at least for defending. Uh, for attacking, it could be diff different, but at least for defending, you're probably more likely to see people using the counterpoint as their strongest keyblade compared to anything else. Another thing worth pointing out is that because of the fact that a lot of people do put their defense skills on turtle models such as myself as well um, you can start seeing a lot of the new prime violet that we just got in the invincibles banner uh, to be popping up quite a bit in pvp as well uh, this is to be expected because of the fact that she is a magic upright metal so she fits perfectly with today's theme of pvp of being just pure magic keyblades what's even better is the fact that she can actually do a lot more damage compared to just zexian plus or vexen plus because of the fact she actually won she's actually more of a damage metal than zexian plus is because he only does fixed damage and two like i just said she does match the attributes for the keyblades which honestly is just perfect now aside from the counterpoint there's actually a couple things i want to say about diamond dust and three wishes all right and this is why i have to say about these two now technically yes i know on the screen it does show that diamond dust is currently better in terms of an ideal best setup compared to three wishes however however most likely this is not what most people are gonna have of course all right so out of the two keyblades diamond dust and three wishes um you can pretty much expect either one of these keyblades to be the weakest amongst you individually um just for a variety of reasons one diamond dust is magic reverse and magic reverse is kind of suffering a little bit right now compared to uh what used to be uh speed reverse now speed reverse still is kind of lacking but speed reverse has been seeing quite a lot of support lately uh from getting more copy metals such as beagle boys and phantom and even a really hard hitter in the form of illustrated invisible okay so diamond dust is actually kind of suffering from what speed reverse used to be suffering from which is where we don't have a backwards uh magic reverse copy metal for diamond dust and we don't have a super hard hitter for diamond dust either okay so because of this the metal that's most likely to be seen and end up being the best for most people is going to be the new Prime Illustrator Roxas. However, the thing is though, you can still use Prime Illustrator Roxas just as well on the Three Wishes as you could on the Diamond Dust. And the Diamond Dust does have less gauges. So, even though that technically the Diamond Dust would be the best uh, Keyblade uh, over Three Wishes, Chances are I'm expecting more people to actually find a lot easier of a time putting together a three wishes setup Especially since because of the fact you can also still use some magic upright metals too compared to the diamond dust So in that aspect uh, I am expecting most people to actually have their weakest setup be on the diamond dust uh, In which case they might actually try using their turtling status ailments or both uh, Strategies on the diamond dust instead now some quick tips Reminders and advice that I want to let you guys know of uh, is the fact that we do have the Invincibles boosters going on right now for the entire month. So, so, what that means is that medals such as uh, Prime Violet and Bob and Jack Jack are actually going to get that 40% boost. Now, it's not going to really help out Prime Violet too much just because of the fact she's not really a damage medal in the first place. But that does mean that Bob and Jack Jack is going to be the strongest upright metal in the entire game as of right now. So for those of you that are actually able to get them to 8 star, oh my god, you're going to be one heck of a powerhouse for this week. In retrospect, we also have the Organization 13 boosters going on right now as well. So remember, if 
you have that Prime Illustrator Roxas, uh, he will also have that booster and help you do some extra damage and will pretty much be the MVP of your Magic Reverse medals for this week. Because of this as well, instead of using an Illustrated Invisible, uh, an 8-star Psyx Plus would actually be more beneficial instead just because of the fact he is part of the organization. Um, and he's only like, what, 0.05... Uh, point multiplier like difference between him and Illustrated Invisible. So with the 40% booster, he would actually be like way stronger than the Illustrated Invisible. Uh, last but not least, the last thing I want to mention real quick is that because of the fact that we are using pure magic keyblades this week, uh, a secret little tip that I kind of want to remind you guys is that this is the chance, this is the week to take advantage of Toon, Sort, and Goofy if you happen to have it. Just because of the fact that one, he actually fits in the first slot of your keyblade, which is actually the most ideal slot you want to put him because he does remove uh, status effects on your opponent, so all buffs and debuffs he'll get real dispel it on your opponent so he'll go first and then you can actually follow it up with a copy metal and key art 17 and boom you have all your buffs and debuffs and again this is assuming that you don't have a Kyrie or Shone EX plus to go on that keyblade so even if you have a Kyrie EX plus if you're using that on a different keyblade such as counterpoint for example you can still use Toon Sor and Goofy on your three wishes instead this is still an option uh, but other than that that was it for today guys I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think about this type of thing, uh, what I could do to improve it, blah, 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 all that good jazz. But if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Everyone say goodbye to Shadow, okay? He didn't really do anything in this video, so... But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.